Ooh. It's a time for the package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Hunt Collector. It's awesome that you're tuning in. It's time for a package from China and we're going to take a close look at the Pandora Game Dongle Game Controller Game Stick. This is the Ostar GB3 on the 30. Nevertheless, it comes by many names, but it is more like the HDMI stick. And is this the next generation of the plug and play devices? Nevertheless, it's going to be the year 2021. It's going to be all about the game system from our friends from China, but with an HDMI plug and play solution. Nevertheless, let's take a close look what's inside the box. Yeah. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to get inside the package itself. Let's talk about the GB3 on 30 instruction manual. Ooh, we're going to get the deluxe toilet paper manual. Because this thing is actually a manual. Because the previous one, you're just going to get a piece of toilet paper. And But they did quite some effort putting this together. So, give them extra kudos for this. We're going to get the extension cable HDMI. And the reason why is very simple. That brings us to the plug and play stick this one looks quite nice more like transparent or translucent it looks nice and it only having one usb port at the back that's a little bit of a bummer because if you want to use multiple controllers or you don't want to use the single dongle with the two controllers it's going to be an issue you can remove the sd card and add some new games if you want to but most of these things are too wide so it will not fit in your monitor or it will cover up and HDMI port. So this load this is just a common problem. But let's show check that out a little bit later. A micro USB cable. This is basically for the power because you need to have some extra juice. It comes with one dongle and it comes with two controllers. So the controllers are more like the better quality versions that I have seen. Most of the time when you're going to get more like the plug and play device with 30 bucks, you're going to give us the more the chemical version. This one doesn't smell chemical at all. On and off switch. Well, feels not bad. It's not comparable with original controllers, but I think it can give us a decent gameplay experience. But okay, so let's take a close look at this device. Let's plug it in. And not to forget, let's grab some cells and batteries. So a quick demonstration if you want to plug it in it's not even possible with my version because my port is a little bit too deep and as you can see that it's too wide nevertheless it's just going to be a nightmare so let's grab ourselves the extension cable and let's connect it i'm also going to use the usb cable over here inside my usb port on the television because it will give me some juice take consideration that doesn't work with every television sometimes you just need to have yourself a phone charger like a 5 volt phone charger that's it Okay, so the, the stick itself, what I like about these sticks is that you can plug it in your HDMI port and you're just done with all the wiring. But with the extension cables, it's just a freaking nightmare, man. So maybe with some double-sided tape, you can stick it on your monitor. So when you're turning it on, it will automatically be boot up. So that is just a really cool, convenient thing. But what's the point of a stick if you can't stick it in? Okay, so I'm booted up. This is the menu where you're going to get, and it looks very similar than the Pandora box menu. Only there are some differences. To begin with, the preview is not really a preview. Sometimes we're having some movie pictures like this. Makes no sense. We do have the option when you pressing L and R button to go to the class or different kind of software there. You can play on it like PlayStation One, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, the Game Boys, Famicom, Mame, and Atari. History. The collection is more like the favorites and we have the search option but there is only one thing i have noticed with my previous reviews regarding similar products that when you're pressing a button sometimes it takes forever to load a list and that's a little bit of a bummer so the menu is really choppy look at this it's still loading <sighs> And when pressing select in the main menu, you're going to get into the settings. So here we're having the language, key tune. Let's make it more annoying than it already is. Oh yeah. So here we're having the, yep, it's saved. View local files. Basically you can, can browse through the SD card. Don't mess around too with it. Otherwise you will mess up the SD card. <laughs> Never do this. And the reason why, if you do this, it's highly possible that you're going to mess it up. 
Sometimes it doesn't do anything besides basically setting everything like this, sending it back to the original state. But sometimes it can format your card. So be careful with it. Okay, so that's it. There's no aspect ratio. Nothing really great to see here. So let's play some games. Let's see how they are going. Running. 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 So the first thing that I'm noticing is that the sound is not really loud. And another good thing. Ugh. Ugh. If you want to go back to the main menu, press start and select. Basically what you can do is just use the resume. Of course, you want to resume the game. Restart. You can save the game on different save slots. Save load, quick load, quick save. And even if you're having some problems, you want to reconfigure the controls, you can do it through the control menu. Or just go out of the game and go back to the menu. And to give you an idea how loud it is from my television, I put it at 100%, so I don't know what's going on with this thing, but... The D-pad on this controller is freaking awful. Can't get any moves out, and it's freaking res not responsive. GBA games seem to be running fine. Ooh, I did hear a small hiccup in the sound effects. What a weird game, DJ Boy. Such a weird game. Alright, Turbo Boy, Turbo Move away. So I've noticed that with some of these games take Super NES, especially this game have issues, but I didn't see or hear any problems whatsoever. Quite interesting, so between the sticks there are some differences. It's so funny that the cars bounce off you. <laughs> The PlayStation 1 seems to be running quite smooth.
Okay guys, so what do I think of this Alstar GB330 known as the Pandora stick? This thing can come by many names, but you're looking at the freaking same product like the ones I've reviewed before, only it comes in a different shell, especially when you're looking at the menu. But what I find very surprising is that it runs a little bit better when it comes to the Super NES. So the controls are just horrible. Here we're also going to get a difference. So in overall, it's more like the emulation is better, especially with the Super NES, but the controls are less quality, especially when you're looking at the D-pad. It doesn't play that fine. So I'm not a big fan of these. So sadly, we're only having one USB port. So this means that we can only use one dongle. Otherwise you need to use a USB hub. Yeah, what's the point of a USB stick that you can't stick in your monitor and you need to use a freaking USB hub? It's going to be one freaking disaster. But yeah, nevertheless, for the money, this is what you can get and what you can expect. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the weekend family, and I will see you in the next video.